hello there. We are back still talking about starfish. And in this video, we are going to have a little bit more of a virtual tour, if you will, of the starfish product. We've already shown you how to view the services. This is the service list here. And we also talked about how to click the menu here and raise your hand to request help. So now we're going to hit on the other options available in the Starfish platform for students. First, you can click your name in order to open up a sub menu. Here you can access your profile. And so you can update your profile and provide an alternative email address. You can also check the box to send emails to that alternative email address if desired. And you can update your picture if you would like. You also have some customization here as far as weekly updates. You can ask for a weekly status update about your network, and you can also have reminder preferences sent to you before the start of a specific appointment. Maybe 15 minutes is not enough time for you. You want to change it to 30 minutes whenever you're scheduling an appointment. I'm going to go ahead and click on never mind. We're not going to change that here. Now back to the menu, we can click on upcoming and that will tell us if we have any upcoming scheduled appointments, which we currently don't. Again, Starfish is used for appointments primarily with counseling. At this point in time, you might also use it to schedule with your instructor. And so that would be those appointments that it's referring to. If we go onto our dashboard, we can see quite a bit of information here. On the left-hand side, it would show if we had anything scheduled, which this student does not. You can also click on load more and see if there's more for the rest of the week. And again, there's currently not. Free and clear. On the right-hand side, we see that the student did receive a kudo. Awesome, great job. And that there is a flag that was raised. Now this flag information which of course certain information has been hidden to protect the student's information, but it does let the student know that the instructor raised a flag for a missing or late assignment, what the instructor's name is, how long ago it was raised, what course it's for, and if there were any notes. So that way the student could even follow up on it and say, you know what, I'm sorry, I did drop the ball, but I am ready to get back in and make it up. And so you can take action and notify the instructor. The name of the instructor is a hyperlink, so you can hover over it and get the email address and email the instructor directly from Starfish, which is pretty neat. Going back to the menu here, messages is just a place for any notes or messages that have been sent. So this particular student only has the one for the flag. Plans is a feature that we currently do not use in this product, so you can skip that menu option. Courses shows a list of the courses that you're enrolled in, which can be very helpful. This particular student is an EOPS student, so that service is also associated with them. It also shows the instructor and their contact information. And if we scroll down, we can see the rest of the courses as well. Now, if you had an instructor that did allow for online office hours, then that would show up here. This particular instructor says online scheduling is not available, but you do have instructors that do utilize this product for office hours. If they do, this will be instead reflecting what their office hour schedule is, and then you can actually click to schedule. I hope that that was a nice little tour for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Take advantage of this product because it is one of the tools in your toolbox to help you be a successful student at Imperial Valley College. Thanks for watching.